St. Anne, Jamaica, a defense attorney on Wednesday claimed that a possible conspiracy between students and teachers at a popular high school in St. Anne resulted in a male teacher being slapped with charges relating to the molestation of a 15-year-old male student. The damning assertion was made during an in-camera hearing of the case in the St. Anne Parish Court. The 24-year-old teacher has been charged with one count each of buggery, indecent assault and grievous sexual assault. Due to the nature of the case and the private hearing of the matter, the identities of all parties involved are being withheld. The educator was remanded into custody until next week, to facilitate further investigations by the police, which could lead to additional charges being laid against him relating to another male student. Allegations are that the teacher was arrested by the police at the high school last Thursday after a complaint was filed by the student and his parent. But Observer Online understands that the educator's attorney, vehemently, denied those allegations, arguing that the complainant is much bigger in body than her client. Further, she said the teacher previously taught the boy at lower grades, and there were no such allegations made prior to last week. The attorney told the presiding judge that it was clear by the text messages that the complainant continued to message the educator and offered him certain things. In addition, the lawyer maintained that there was evidence to suggest that the complainant conspired with another child to draw out the accused man. That child, it is understood, is alleging that the educator also had sexual contact with him, and a statement was being prepared, prosecutors indicated. The attorney, in her submissions, asserted that the conspiracy not only involves students, but it might also involve teachers who were purportedly jealous of the multiple awards the accused teacher has received since being at the school. The defense argued, too, that there were messages alluding to the conspiracy, which indicated that it had gone too far. The clerk of court objected to bail being granted to the accused, as she feared that he could interfere in the investigations being conducted to lay new charges. The matter was set for next week to further consider the bail application.